Welcome back to V-Roll. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, especially for the fact that I'm doing a giveaway here with the Crown Zenith, Galarian Articuno tin, and two three-pack blisters from Stellar Crown. I go over everything in every video of how to do this, but let me just make it simple. Down in the description below, there's a link. Follow that link to that video. Comment on that video. That's how you enter. There you go. Very simple. 2,500 subscribers, and then boom, I give away the four prizes. I didn't even mention the mystery prize because it's so mysterious. Whatever. Four prizes. Uh, two three-pack blisters, Crown Zenith 10, and then a mystery prize. Going out to four winners. There's so much to get into. My head's a little scrambled. Lots to happen today. Today is Friday. That means our fight for first Friday, and we go from oldest sets to newest. We've gone through the original base set, Jungle Fossil, uh, promos from that time period, base set two, we've done all that, and now we are on two other sets, which we will get into momentarily. But there's so much happening, so much news out there. We gotta jump into this first. My goodness, did you see it? Did you see it? Surging Sparks, the newest Scarlet and Violet set to be released, featuring Pikachu on the ETB. Finally, we get a Magneton promo in the ETB. And if you do the Pokemon Center exclusive, you have that Pokemon Center stamp promo in there as well. So two promos. I don't know why there's uh, an either or situation. There's actually a lot of Poketubers out there who say like, oh, you get the stamp promo in that one. And then they're surprised that they get the regular one. This is not new. From the beginning of Scarlet and Violet, you get the regular and the stamped version in the Pokemon Center exclusive ETB. In the regular ETB, you just get the promo, not the stamped version. All right, we can take a little bit more in-depth look here. All the products are out here with the booster box, our booster bundle, and our Pokemon Center Elite Trainer box exclusive there. And of course, sleeve packs. Uh, don't go after the stuff just yet. Don't go crazy on the booster box. Don't spend it on the, the six pack booster bundle. This one might be worth a pre-order, but take a look. Twilight Masquerade is still available. Stellar Crown is still available. They're printing enough for everybody if you want them. Um, Shrouded Fable did sell out, just saying. Um, but the Surging Sparks Pokemon Center ETB just got released today on, on their website, uh, and it is still available. So I think you have time if you need to, you know, decide if you want it or not. This set does not look like one I want to go crazy on. Uh, so I like the fact that it's got Pikachu on it. So I am going to pre-order this for sure. I like to have one of every Pokemon Center Elite Trainer box in my own collection. Uh, I really want to get to today's actual video, but let's just quick scan through this stuff so you can see a little bit of what's going on with the artwork there. we got to pop this a little bigger here. So that Magneton actually looks pretty cool. Oh, man, maybe I want two of these because this one's actually pretty cool. It's kind of got a little bit into the Giratina vibe. It's got a little bit of that Magikarp vibe. The chaotic, the crazy, all this stuff going on. I wonder how many little Easter eggs are in here, but uh, there's a lot of interesting chaos in this wild spark, this ov over vault discharge happening. I don't know if that's what's being portrayed here, but uh, pretty darn cool looking card, actually, for a Magneton that doesn't get a lot of love, and I always thought it kind of should. So, uh, pretty cool, pretty neat. Let's hop over to Pokelector. We are looking at the Gym Hero series. There's two sets. Two sets in the Gym Hero series. There are the Gym Heroes, the original one that we're going to go with first. It was released earlier. Um, this was in August. The other one was done in October of 2000, I believe. So here, we're going, we're throwing back. So the highlight of the sets are going to be the hollow rares. That's it. That's as high as you can go in these. We don't have any crazy illustration rares back from this era. We don't have anything wild like a special illustration rare or an alt art, anything like that. But what we do... Uh, with this channel is we go back to that set and we look at the best selling cards of the series today. So right now, here we are, 2024, what is selling the best? It has nothing to do with what is valued the highest, it has nothing to do with um, the particular Pokemon, because there might be some fan favorites that aren't selling the best. But according to TCG Player, the top 10 best selling cards have been pulled out and set aside. And let's take a second to just understand what we're looking at here. This is going to be our Gym Heroes collection, all right? The first time they put Gym Leaders and characters from the anime onto and attached to specific Pokemon. For instance, Rocket's Hitmachan, all right? Most of them are gonna be in the lightly played. That's probably a reasonable bracket to look at. Uh, Near Mint is going to be very difficult to verify on something like TCG Player, unless it's a really trusted seller. Um, the other thing is the price is going to go up quite significantly by each 
different category of conditions. So keep that in mind. So just for now, we'll look at lightly played. Um, but here we have Rockets, Hitmonchan. We're going to go into more specific trainers with their Pokemon um, rather than a little bit general like Rockets. But coming in the 10th spot is Rockets, Hitmonchan. So it looks like it's been on the decline for the past three months. Let's see about the past six. Oh, it had a rise and maybe this is just a recovery. Let's look at the past year. This has been around for a while. Actually, it is on a steep decline. Why? I don't know. Are people falling out of favor with Vintage? There's so much good stuff going on in Modern. I mean, I'm pretty stoked about this ETB. So, maybe it is that simple. Maybe the fact that this new stuff coming out is just of such great interest that it's easier to put your collection dollars into that rather than going back in time and, and doing uh, some of these cards from sets of old. We're going to look at Erica's Clefable. There's Erica. Look at this. Okay, so here we have it. We have the trainer their badge or yeah the badge that you can win from the gym uh, the gym badge and you have their Pokemon it's got their name on it these are coming back folks these are coming back I couldn't have timed this on purpose it was just the order of things week by week or Matt we already know after the worlds after the championship uh, that this has been announced this is coming in 2025 we're gonna see uh, gym gym heroes style cards coming back uh, we're only at like $16. Are we on the same thing where it's just that trend down? No, no. Clefable, trending up in the past year. So, hard to say what this market looks like. Maybe Eric is more popular than just your random rocket uh, trainer. So, you know, a lot of things to consider. And I'm not really going to focus on the price. It's just kind of looking back and enjoying it and seeing how it relates to today. Especially with the fact that we have these, these gym leaders, these trainers coming out in a more formal sense. We've had the trainer gallery, which is pretty much the same thing, but uh, it's going to be pretty interesting to see how this pans out and what they have planned, what the Pokemon company has planned going into next year, because we're going to have the rocket set, and then I think this one will follow that. So we're looking at you know, early summer, late spring maybe, uh, to be seeing this happen next year there. Brock, just a trainer uh, over the past year. Damage Hollow Foil looks like it's on the climb. Let's see, a near mint, 23 bucks. Near Mint 22. Okay, not too bad for a Near Mint. It's just a trainer, though, but it's Brock, a classic trainer who a lot of us grew up with there. Came down, went back up. Whatever. Whatever. I can't I can't predict this market. Vintage is too hard to be uh, predicting in any capacity, and even the trends don't fully tell the whole story because this looks like a pretty quick shot up, so I would assume a recovery. It's Vintage, though. They don't play the same game we do. These could be on a trajectory up to... 50, 60, 100, I don't know how many dollars. It could go up pretty high. Uh, so here we have another Rockets. It's Rockets Moltres. Uh, really kind of a cool artwork. Uh, artwork, Not in flight, just standing over, looking down. Really interesting there on the Moltres. And then you have Blaine's Moltres. Interesting that the two Moltres come in the top 10 there. In flight, as we would normally expect it there. Blaine being a more popular one, especially the Blaine's Charizard, uh, being really popular in these sets. Uh, so here we have another trajectory going up there on a damaged one. We're at 13 bucks, but light played first edition 172. That first edition is going to just skyrocket the price. So if you're going for that, you're going to pay quite a pretty penny to make it happen. Near mint for the unlimited, which means non first edition, sixty dollars there. So popular Pokemon, popular trainer, Vermilion City Gym. I was surprised to see gym cards or trainer cards rather coming into the top 10 spots and. Maybe I don't know how TCG Player works. Maybe their algorithm isn't as clean as I think it is. Uh, in the top 10 best-selling, when I when I search by that, is that really true? Are people picking these up? Are they filling in some gaps in an old binder or something? Are they just looking at these old stadium cards and you know going into that? I don't know. How did this one get to this this height in the category of how many they're going to be uh, reaching the the top 10 there? But not not certain. Moderate played all over the place, but it looks like it's been a pretty easy recovery to back to where it was. But you're not paying a whole lot for this car, that's for sure. Brock's right on. Jim Heroes Gen 1 looks like here. Uh, great great card in action. You know, the first right on we had is standing there, but now now he's running at us towards the towards the viewer. So uh, Light Plate has been climbing recently there, and we're looking at uh, almost 12 bucks there. Near Mint Unlimited is actually under 20 so not too bad if you're looking to pick these up. And you got to remember, these were the height of the sets. These rare hollows were the height of the set. I know we get a hollow in every pack now. So we kind of like, yeah, great, who cares? They don't mean anything because there's no rarity to it. 
as far as we're concerned. Yeah, if you're doing a whole set, you might be missing one or two as you're trying to collect, but they're coming soon in either pack wings or they're picking them up dirt cheap to make it happen. Where these were the ones, these were like pulling a special illustration rare Charizard today. That was the hype when you got a rare Scyther, a rocket Scyther, you you just screamed your head off because you were so excited. Your friends thought you were crazy, um, but also they were just jealous because it was awesome that you pulled it and they didn't. Haha. -ha. I don't know. That never happened to me, not with this set. I, I actually stepped away as Jim Heroes was coming out. Uh, I I fell away from from Pokemon for the most part. I think I have a handful of Jim Hero cards for the original, but not not anything extensive. So wasn't wasn't something I was going after there. Uh, damage there on the price. Let's see. Near mint unlimited, forty bucks. Light play unlimited, thirty bucks. Okay, not too bad. Again, unlimited means not first edition. You're gonna see it pictured with the first edition typically on these older sets if they had it. Um, and then you can find them as you're going through. It'll say uh, unlimited or uh, in rare case it might actually say first edition. I don't even know. That's going to be further down the line if you're going lowest to highest on the, the price. So it's going to definitely be further down the line. You might need to search specifically for the card you're looking for if you're going to go that route. Uh, near mint unlimited, $130, $125, sorry, ish dollars. Uh, I don't know if there's shipping on there or anything like that. Yeah, a picture helps. Um, damaged. 40 bucks. Gengar is a fan favorite. Sabrina's a good trainer fan favorite there too. So you put Sabrina's Gengar, you're going to be paying a lot. I was very surprised to see this as the top number one best selling card from Jin Heroes Gen 1, the Narrow Gym. Uh, cool as far as playability. I don't even know if it's legal to play this ultimate card in today's uh, format. That I'd, I'd love to be educated because I'm not super familiar with the actual TCG part the game part trading card yeah I, I'm understanding a lot about it there's so much you can go into um, and I'm hopefully communicating a lot of fun information and interesting stuff whether it helps you in your investment collection or when it's a good time to pick up singles or maybe offload duplicates that you have that you want to sell uh, hopefully I'm helpful in all those ways I've been reviewing the art and I really enjoy that that's really my wheelhouse although it's one of my lowest vo viewed videos I think it's actually pretty interesting to go through the artwork as an artist perspective uh, but Somebody educate me. Throw in the comments down below just for the conversation. I'd love to know more. Are these still playable in today's standard? I don't know. Can you can you bring a Gym Heroes trainer into today's current format? I, I, not certain. So I'd love to know. But interesting to see that this was the number one best selling, and it's been on an upward trajectory for the most part. A little zigzaggy, but up there, and it's still cheap. So <laughs> you have light played first edition at fifty cents. I mean, these were easy to get. It's a common, it's a common trainer. Not hard to get a hold of. So very interesting that that's out there. Definitely wanted to bring this to your attention, that this is available. There's a few other products out there still that are available in here. Um, crazy that we're seeing these being pushed out. Looks like early November, which is when we're going to be getting that UPC, the Terrapogos UPC. Then we have the end of November for the Greninja UPC. I'm kind of pulling back. Maybe I don't want those UPCs at all because I'd rather put it into this set, to be honest. You take away one of those UPCs, 120 bucks, you can get a booster box of what looks to be a pretty cool set. Uh, I think we have some Dragon type. We're gonna have a uh, Latias in here. Uh, it's a full set, so I mean we we get the booster box, which is fantastic. Not a specialty set. Where did it have it? I don't know. I don't remember where I saw. It. Oh, okay, Latias right there. Um, Alolan Exeter. That might be cool. Uh, obviously Pikachu gonna be leading the way here, being the mascot yet again. Um, don't know if I like this look, this crazy crown, the Terra look, but uh, I think it'll actually work on Pikachu. We'll see. We'll see. As far as box artwork, it is pretty cool. It's It's got a good striking image to it. Um, and uh, Surging Sparks. Looks interesting. Be a part of the channel. Subscribe. Go for your chance to win the Glaring Articuto tin, two Stellar Crown 3 Black Blisters, and a Pokemon Mystery Prize for a total of four prizes going out to four winners. And uh, how you do it? Go to that description down below I lay it out exactly how you're supposed to do it and where you need to go and what you need to do so 2,500 subscribers is the trigger though once we get to that that's when this happens so I want to get these out there as soon as possible to all four winners all around the world wherever you need to go uh, it's on me I'll take care of it I want to make sure you get these cards and have an opportunity to open up some packs and have fun by the time we get there I don't want another set to be coming out I want to beat that so let's get there by a stellar crown uh, or maybe just after so uh, yes, thank you for tuning in. I post seven days a week, so please subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified of when my videos go live uh, at the same time every day. I try to keep consistent. I 
can't operate outside of that because it just makes me go insane. So thank you for tuning in and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.